Hi, this is Looney from BitLooney's lab and today on Electromaker we're gonna build a persistence of vision lightsaber. Oh, and today we're gonna build a persistence of vision lightsaber. The lightsaber uses a gyroscope to track the angle and an LED strip shows the corresponding image pixels. The eyes are more sensitive in dim light. This way the bright LED pixels persist for a short time giving the impression the whole image is displayed at once. This effect is hard to film since the camera sensor uses a shutter. But I hope you get the impression. Now let me show how you can build one. Detailed build instructions and the code can be found on the Electromaker project page linked in the description. These are the components I have used. An ESP32 microcontroller, a gyro module, 2 meters of densely populated WS2012B LED strips, also known as NeoPixels. For the sound we have this audio amplifier and a speaker. The whole thing is powered by this lithium polymer battery. A powerful DC to DC converter steps the voltage down to 5 volts. The state of the LiPo is monitored by this battery tester. A nice push button and a power switch manage the operation. And there are wires, heat shrinks, connectors, a bunch of 3D printed parts and some aluminium hardware for the blade and handle. And this is how it works. The ESP32 is the microcontroller running the code. It has the images stored as binaries on the internal file system. The ESP reads the angular velocity which is simply the rotation speed and updates the estimated position of the lightsaber. It reads the image pixels of that position from the image and sends them to the NeoPixels. Moving slowly, you can see how the image is displayed line by line. Since a lightsaber is much cooler with sound, the ESP also plays waveform samples when starting and stopping the saber and synthesizes a continuous hum sound. The samples are sent to the internal digital to analog converter of the ESP. The analog voltage is picked up by the audio amplifier which drives the speaker. The pitch of the hum is also affected by the angular velocity. This makes this distinct wielding sound. Awesome! First step was to set up a working breadboard prototype. This was easier than expected. This is how every part is connected. Time to transfer it to the final circuit. I used the perf board as a base and soldered on some headers and connectors. This is how you convert a pin header to a JST connector. After that I wired everything up. This board inhabits the ESP, the gyro and the audio amp. Since the internal pull-up for the push button wasn't good enough, I had to add a 10k pull-up resistor. The LED strips take a lot of power, so using really thick wires and thick connectors for all the power lines carrying the current is necessary. The speaker was refurbished, but you can get similar ones easily. I made everything nice and tidy with heat shrink to prevent any shorts with the metal case. Yeah. 
Since the LEDs take so much power, the size of the LiPo and the DC to DC converter determined the size of the handle. And this was already too big to 3D print in one piece. I decided to use an aluminium pipe as sturdy outer shell with some 3D printed insets and attachments. The LED strips stick to an extruded aluminium rod. These are made from half meter pieces and there is a noticeable gap in the center which I also removed. I used some captain tape at the solder joints to prevent shots with the rod. Some heat shrink protects the tip of the strip. I cut the rod and the pipe to length since the original size was even bigger. To get the cutouts in the pipe correctly I used a neat trick. I just printed a basic template which I could use to draw the outlines. After that I used the angle grinder to cut the openings. The ESP32 is not placed inside the pipe in order to still have Wi-Fi reception for future updates. The rod locks the outer part of the case in place. Some bolts prevent everything from falling apart. A transparent PVC pipe can be used as a protective cover of the LEDs. But since the Sabre is already heavy enough, I rarely use that. The images you like to display are converted using a simple tool and are uploaded to the internal file system of the ESP32. The result is really cool! And here is the obligatory cat picture. All the resources for this project can be found on the Electromaker page linked below. If you register, you will be automatically in a monthly draw for a swag bag full of goodies like this t-shirt here. You can also follow me there to get updates on the projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next project from me on Electromaker, we will build smart sleeping room lights that will wake you smoothly with an artificial sunrise. So subscribe to not miss it and see you next time. Bye!